Let me show you what it was and then what I've done to it to transform it into what you've heard. I picked a snare sample, laid down these notes, open your sample, press on the wrench icon, turn the arpeggiator on by choosing one of these modes, change the repeat to two or more, and then you right click on time and create automation clip. From there, it's a matter of experimenting with different automation times. So if I change this from top, to down, you get a different result. In this case, we've done it with the snare roll, but you could do that with your hi-hat rolls, tom fills, or even one shots and sound effects to add some movement and rolls to your melody or sound effects. The process will be the same for any sample that you drag into the channel rack. You have the ability to open the sample, head on to the wrench icon, turn on the arpeggiator, and mess around with what's available. In this case, I added this simple tom fill to accompany the snares. I also tried it for a different section. It's really as simple as that.